What's up, guys? I'm your host, Elise Desiree, and welcome back to The Daily Dive. Today, we will be discussing three amazing young women who have made history. Jordan Childs, Shailise Jones, and Connor McLean swept the podium at the 2022 U.S. Gymnastics Championships. Let's dive in. Black Girl Magic was definitely in the air on August 21st. Fans across the country took to social media to celebrate. For the first time in history, three black women are the top three gymnasts in the United States. The competition was close with the first and the third place only having an eighth of a point differential. 21-year-old Jordan Childs placed third all around with 111.9 points. 20-year-old Shailise Jones placed second all around with 112 points and 17-year-old Connor McLean with 112.75 points won first place all around. These girls are following in the footsteps of some of the greats, Gabby Douglas, Simone Biles, and Sunny Lee, just to name a few. Childs didn't have the easiest path to her success. With all of the trophies and medals she had received throughout her career, she thought it was ending. She was frustrated with the sport she had one time loved. Childs had given up until Simone Biles, the most decorated U.S. women's gymnast ever, with 32 World Olympic medals, offered Childs to move to Texas and train with her. This was when the spark and the fire came back for Childs. She also made history with another gymnast to be the first U.S. Olympic female gymnast to make a return to elite competition after a collegiate season. Childs placed third overall at the U.S. Gymnastics Championship this year. Jones was in a terrible car accident and had to take months to rest and recover. Although she was down, she never gave up and made herself ready to compete. Five months after her car accident, Jones lost her father to kidney disease. She wrote on her Instagram, my dad's dream was to see me on the Olympic stage one day and he devoted anything and everything to gymnastics. Despite these hurdles, she was able to place second overall at the U.S. Gymnastics Championship this year. McLean began gymnastics at 18 months old. When she was just 11, she was on Steve Harvey's show, Little Big Shots, as the best 11-year-old gymnast. She said her goal was to win the all-around gold medal at the 2024 Olympics. McLean became the sixth woman since 2000 to triumph in her senior nationals debut. The other five all became the best gymnasts in the world, most recently Simone Biles. McLean, like her teammate Jones, the last few years have not been easy. On top of moving gyms and battling injuries, she lost her father at the end of 2021 from COVID-19 and a week later lost her grandmother. With all of the detours, she came out on top in August and won first place at the U.S. Gymnastics Championship. Representation matters, and these girls are giving us just that. With more and more young black women showing out in this sport, we will see more opportunities opening up for young black girls. Fisk University, which is located in Nashville, Tennessee, announced in February the formation of its inaugural gymnastics team, making the university the first HBCU to have an intercollegiate women's gymnastics program. The school appointed an Ivy League coach, Connie Tarver, as the head coach, and later that year, she was named the athletic director of Fisk. It is an exciting time for black women showing tenacity, grit, and fierceness during times of pressure. Congratulations to Jordan Childs, Shailise Jones, Connor McLean, Coach Connie Tarver, and the women of Fisk Gymnastics team. They are all giving us that black girl magic. Thank you for giving my daughter and so many other young black girls amazing role models. If you would like to learn more about Connor McLean, Shailise Jones, or Jordan Childs, please feel free to check out the linked articles in the description below. Also, be sure to go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified when we drop our next video. Don't forget to leave a comment letting us know what topics you would like to see covered on future daily dives. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. For more, click here.